a fat Scarface. Now, I said, is it really you in your pictures? And he said, I should have video chatted him. Now I video chat like every single person I talk to as a precaution. But he's like, well, you know, COVID, I put on a few pounds and I'm overweight, but I don't lie about it. If I'm, <laughs> show me what you really look like today so I can make that judgment myself. There's some overweight men I've been attracted to, but this particular man I was not attracted to. He was very unkempt and just, you can't even take the time to meet me and shower. That's gross. So this guy gets in my car. Sure enough. Minute he sits down. I get a whiff of sweaty construction man. Working all day. And I'm thinking to myself, no, no, no. How do I get out of this? I felt trapped. And I didn't want to be rude. That phrase will be my downfall. I've learned my lesson though, guys. I will be hella rude all day, every day from now on. I'm not putting myself in this situation anymore. Anyways, I got rid of the weird Wendy's tomatoes. <laughs> I don't remember. He, he was like rubbing his hair. It was all disheveled. Not shaved. He was sorry. Barely making eye contact. Shy, sheepish. You should be. You should be shy and ashamed. I, uh, and it, I, you know. I came off work and didn't really have time to shower or nothing. Sorry about that. Sorry, yeah. Not as sorry as I am, pal. He just like... Can I kiss you? He has really big, powerful arms, which was nice. But he had a bit of B.O. You know. Working... He did confirm in construction, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe that's an assumption. I still can't tell. But anyways, he uh, kissed me. His, uh, He was eager. He was super horny. I mean, you know, super horny kissing is like with guys like this. I don't know. He was so eager. He like swallowed my whole face. And it was gross. It was horrible. I think he may have had a chicken shawarma for lunch. I, I, it was gross. Then he starts like going down here, pulls out a tit, starts sucking on my, my tit. And I love that. So that felt really nice. But I was just like, ah, okay, just enjoy yourself. So I put a leg up on the dash because as a bigger girl, I had my seat all the way back. I put a leg up on the door kind of. And he starts fingering me and I was uh, like fake moaning. <laughs> he wasn't good at it. He kind of was just like going everywhere hoping for the best. I mean, I know I have a lot more area to cover than most because I have a fupa or a fat pussy. I love saying that, fat pussy. I have a fat pussy. <laughs> so liberating. Thank you OnlyFans. He stops after like one second. Typical fucking male. You're about to come and they stop. And pull down their pants. He takes his joggers. I don't even think he had fucking boxers on. Takes his sweats. Jogger G's. Pulls them down. And looks at me like. You know when a man gets so horny they look drunk? Okay. I swear to God it's not even fucking hard. So here's the thing. This guy has the fucking audacity and the, like, balls. Actually, he was all balls. Saggy, sweaty balls. To just pull it out, like, all, like, hey, suck it. You know, he's like, 
Are you gonna suck it? Just like that. Or something. Some details, I don't know. You know. But. I remember looking at it going, oh god. <laughs> I didn't want to be selfish. He did pleasure me after all. So we find a position because for me as a big girl as well, to, we have the middle console. So he has his seat moved all the way back. And he is kind of standing at like an angle like that. Kinda. <laughs> and his little pecker is like this on his fupa. As I'm leaning towards to go in, I can see he has a mound, like he has a fat, fat mound surrounding his penis and it's all prickly, like he shaved it recently at some point. And I can smell sweat a little bit. But he had the audacity and I didn't have... The self-worth, basically, to say, get the fuck out of my car. So, I sucked his dick. I put it in my mouth and it was soft and there's nothing more that turns me off. It makes me gag, actually. Him, not so much because it doesn't even, it's not long enough to trigger my gag reflex. But some other men that I've sucked... You put it in soft, it's, uh, you know, no. Um, I put it in my mouth and I'm just massaging kind of like a spin cycle at first, trying to get some kind of fucking life into it. It gets to maybe like, like a little bit of rigidity, I guess it was not very, very hard. And he, but he's having the time of his life. So good for him. Oh, yeah. He's like fucking humping my face. Oh, I'm gonna come. Oh. I swear. At least it didn't take him long. It took him like a minute, like a minute to come. I swallowed. It tasted horrifying. Bitter nasty. Sorry. I'm reminiscing. I'm gonna have good sex. My best sex stories too. In detail. Don't worry. It won't only be bad encounters. But you know some guys, how they just have like, really tasty cum, like, you just want to taste them and eat them all day, and then some men, you gotta spit that out. <laughs> you would rather ingest fucking DW40 than that shit. You know. So... <clears throat> And then, as as he's finishing up, ooh, ooh, very loud orgasm. I noticed an old man was like, he must have pulled up at some point when I had my head down, and he must have pulled up when I had my head like buried three inches three inches deep, and it was just like. I don't know where he came from, but he he pulled up beside me, and he just seemed oblivious to the fact that I was sucking some guy's cock right beside him. And he's just walking along with his walking stick, on, about to enter the trail as I lift my head up. And I'm just like, oh god. That actually made the guy paranoid. Or he saw that as an opportunity to dip out. Because <laughs> he pulled up his pants very quickly. 
and said, I gotta go, shit. And meanwhile, I'm the one thinking of a fucking excuse to get rid of him. And he's dipping on me. I'm eating the croutons in this salad only. Anyway. It's an indulgence day. The best part about salads is the croutons. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I don't hear from this guy for a little while. I did block him. I'm just like, I'm never seeing this is a nightmare. I'm never seeing this guy again. Sure enough, two months later, I'm already seeing someone else. He messages me. Hey, I thought you wanted like an everyday kind of thing. How come you never messaged me? Yeah, no thanks. I don't want to be sucking your fucking gross and pickled dick every day after work. Anyway, that guy was selfish and dirty, and I blocked his ass. Mm. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today for talking and eating crap, and for this episode, first episode of <laughs> Guilty Pleasures. See you guys later. Bye, guys.